And Jill Naidu built a highly successful business in a very competitive sector. So taking time off wasn't always a priority. Then she experienced deep personal loss and as part of the healing process, she took a break in the foothills of the Himalayas. This gave her time to reflect on life and to nurture the seed of a new business venture that would also be a living tribute to the love and life she shared with her late husband. It was a 20 minute drive from the center of Durban, but Zaki felt as if she had arrived at a Haveli in India. In our fast-paced lives, a chance to recharge and rest is invaluable, although finding a place to do this isn't always easy. The property is the brainchild of Anjil Naidu. Anjil, this is such an exquisite space. Thank you, Zakia. It's so nice to have you. Yeah. What inspired this mammoth undertaking? So I just want to go back, Zakia, to my childhood. And when I met my husband when I was only 14, we literally skinned our hearts and skinned our knees and we had an amazing journey of 38 years. However, sadly, four years ago, I lost Raven after sudden illness. At the beginning of this year, I decided to travel back to some of the places that we visited together and I found myself in the foothills of the Himalayas. And whilst I was there, surrounded by tranquility, the forest, nature, I found what I've been looking for and that's how Lishna came to be. Can I give you a grand tour? That would be wonderful. So basically, when the kids moved out, my home was soon becoming an empty nest and I decided what better way to make it work and honor Raven than to create a space that I could share with guests to enjoy. So Zakia, this is our Manny and Petty station. And as you can see that we've added an element of difference, such as our brass bowls, which is made of copper and zinc, which has healing properties that the guests can enjoy. That is so clever. So Zach, come with me. I'm now going to show you one of our very special rooms. This is one of five of our therapy rooms. I've added an element of brass and flowers to this room so that when our guests are experiencing their massages or their therapies, they can be transcended in a beautiful environment. So Zach, you're going to have to excuse me because I'm going to go and get ready for this evening's launch, but I'd love for you to walk around and enjoy the environment. The decor and color scheme of every therapy space complements the nature of the specific treatment that is offered there. Designer Kim Naidu developed an individual vision for each room while linking them to the overall theme. Kim, you did the decor. What inspired the look and feel? So I've been fortunate enough to travel to India quite a few times and you'll notice that the colours, the greens and the golds and the rich yellows, that comes out quite a bit in the space. And I really wanted to create a space that was transformative, whereby where you're here, it feels like you could be sitting in a beautiful city palace in a day per, for example. The freshly recreated venue was opened in a manner that proudly celebrated its eastern roots. I am dressed for the occasion and I'm ready for a spectacular launch. Guests are arriving, so I'm going to go mingle. The Bharatanatyam dancer entertained the guests in classic style before Anjul Maidu welcomed them to the event. Good evening all. I want to thank you for attending our launch and I have to say I am honoured that we have our Deputy Mayor joining us here today. Thank you so much and do enjoy the rest of the evening. A Mendy artist added a touch of elegant body art and when Zaki made her way to the buffet, she instantly recognised a familiar face. One of Mela's regulars is catering the event. Zainab, what was the brief for tonight and what have been some of your favourite dishes to prepare? Too many to mention actually. Basically the brief was try and keep it Indian inspired and fresh. Desserts were my favourite. We did really lovely barfi cheesecakes. You must taste them actually. I'm definitely going to pull a granny and by a granny I mean my granny and put some of the cheesecakes into my purse. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. Angel's guests were dressed in a style to match the occasion. You look like you are straight out of a Savia Sachi catalogue. Thank you, thanks. 
What have been the highlights of the evening for you? Firstly, from the time you walked in at the entrance, the mocktails, the the decor, the setup, and then walking into this space and um, the Indian dancing, the food, the the Mandy artists, um, everything was just you know to the T. What have you enjoyed most about this evening's launch? When you hear Mrs. Naidu talk about the experience and the loss of her beloved husband. It shows that there is that warmth and space in this place. A little Taj Mahal to her husband. The Lijna Spa is a beautiful tribute of love and a wonderful place to unwind. Commissioned by Shah Jahan for his wife, the Taj Mahal has been described as a beautiful expression of undying love. Lijna may be smaller in scale, but Anjul's love matches the Empress.